Our first article, Cycle of Socializ Socialization by Bobby Haro, um, identifies how the cycle of socialization revolves around kids being born into their social identities. Um, a quote used by Bobby is, predispose us to the unequal roles in the dynamic system of oppression. And this is relating back to gender and how this intersects with the main ideas of race and social class because of the social cycle of socialization and how this is predisposing us to unequal roles based on gender, race, and social class. Um, the cycle follows as the beginning, the first socialization, institutional socialization, and the enforcement of socialization, and then directly the results, and lastly there is a room for direct change or direction of change. Um, for the beginning, the first section of the cycle is our world, what we are born into. Um, children are born into the world as a certain um, person and how they um, are raised, what their parents teach them, um, is the first cycle the first part of the cycle of socialization um, after the beginning. This is what toys they are given to play with when they are young, what shows they watch, if their parents call them girl or boy, what pet names they call them, um, how their parents raise them or brothers or sisters. Um, the next cycle, part of the cycle is institutionalized and this is school play interaction such as daycare. Um, this is when the students um, or kids have their first time being socialized outside of their home. Um, so this again would be involving how the teachers address them as a boy or a girl. Um, if they are broken up into groups based on genders, if they are mixed in gender, um, if they are given certain toys, if the boys are allowed to play basketball and the girls play dolls, um, a lot of these stereotypical things you would see, um, which then lead us into the fourth part of the cycle, which is enforcements. And the enforcements follow as the norms in school. Um, these norms are generally, um, again, boys playing sports, girls playing house, and stereotypes, um, which leads us to the last part of the cycle, which is the results of this cycle. And many times these are the stereotypes of women, girls, boys, and men, and how the men are the ones that are doing the activities such as sports providing, and women are doing the activities such as raising the family or cooking and cleaning. Um, this is also a measure of internalized oppression and how our system rolls today. So what do you think gender is? It's a boy or a girl. Boy or a girl. What would um, be your answer? The difference between boys and girls. Like female and male. Are those the only genders that you know? Yeah. Well, how would you define gender? Corbin. Your gender is basically whether you're a boy or a girl or... And then there's also, usually whenever you take an online test or whatever we do here, uh -huh. that they, they sometimes have an other for like um, those who are transgender. So, do you know like how to define transgender? Yeah. Um, basically, you take basically you have plastic surgery and you get your body parts changed. Okay, Collins, what were you gonna say? Like, if you wanna be a girl and you're a boy already, you can get plastic surgery and become a girl. Bye. Do you have to have plastic surgery or could you just say, like, you could just introduce yourself as a boy if you were a girl who wants to be a boy? Or do you have to look like a girl to, to be a girl? But you don't have to be transgender to say that you're a boy okay. or to say that you're a girl. You could just be like a tomboy or I don't know what the thing for a girl is. Are you more likely to play with boys or with girls, or it doesn't matter? It really doesn't matter. If we could go to the gym right now and play any game you get to pick, what would it be? Football. It'd be just basketball. Kickball. Kickball? Yeah. Okay. Say we had a whole group, our whole group, um, fourth and fifth, playing kickball. How many of them would like, not want to play it? Would you guys? I'd say like... Three wouldn't want to play it. I mean, okay. I can't really think. So of, like, most people all would people. want to play. Yeah. Um, do you think you get the whole class to play basketball, or would there be some people that wouldn't want to? There'd be a lot of people who wouldn't want to. Would they be mostly girls that don't want to, or would they be uh, boys or like a mixture? A mixture. A mixture, you think? 
would there be like some kids that wouldn't want to play it? Yeah. And would they be? If you had to guess, would they be boys or girls that would want to play, wouldn't want to play? Either one. I'd probably pick like ball tag or baseball or kickball. And they would like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there certain games that you would want to play that they would not want to play? Oh yeah. <laughs> karaoke contest. What would uh, you want to be if you could choose anything when you grow up? Basketball player. Um, I'd either want to be a pilot or a NASA astronaut so, I, so that would, maybe that would help me come over, get over my fear of heights. A soccer player or a doctor because you make a lot of money. But He's right there. Football player. Football player? A singer or a gymnast. Um, my little brother wants to be a police officer, and then Mitchell wants to be an athlete. Um, Dr. Clark mentioned in the article said that there was too much, if women had too much education, um, for example, went past secondary education, they would, um, their fertility would be ruined. Um, this was an old time th way of thinking. Um, other people believed this as well. However, obviously it's not true, but um, this provided um, a role of sexism in the classroom and women not being able to go to school as much because they had other needs to fulfill. Um, this again ties gender and social class in together because um, tying in another article, the Las Chicas and how Latino women are more likely to drop out, um, incorporates how they their role in society is to um, have a baby and start a family rather than go to school and then also gender it's based on women. The gender roles in this article listed are gender, sexual harassment, bullying, self-esteem, college acceptance and um, um, relation majors that boys versus girls choose and athletics and how those play a role on education. Um, a lot of gender biases are true, um, especially in these elementary schools. For example, the boys and girls clubs, there is gender bias on the playground, in the classroom, the toys that they choose to play with. Um, specifically mentioned in this article is within the books that they choose to read. Um, teachers avoid that, but obviously it's impossible to avoid completely. There are books that boys would choose to play rather than girls. If you could guess what one of the, doesn't it, you have to say who would be, but another girl in our group, what would you guess they would say they want to be? What would be your guess? Uh, most people, most, uh, I know this because from past experience, most girls like say they want to be a veterinarian. Okay. What do you think? Um, a teacher. A teacher? Anything? An explorer because then you get to go all over the world, try different foods, meet different people, okay. and see different animals. But would you want to do that as a boy? Sure. Do you guys okay. think some jobs are only acceptable for boys to be, or other jobs it's only acceptable for girls to be? Yeah. No. no. Well, not really. Like, what do you think? Opinions. A boy could be a cheerleader, a boy could be a ballerina, and a girl exactly. could be like a professional wrestler or a stunt derby guy. I mean, yeah. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your favorite athletes? Or if you could pick like one or two. Um, Steph Curry. Okay, I know who that is. And Damien Lillard. Okay. Do you have any, can you think of any female athletes? Uh, Simone Biles. Gabby Douglas. Okay, so you have two sisters. When you were, um, like, when you guys do things together, are there some things that they wouldn't want to do that you would want to do, or the other way around? I'd want to go to Golden Corral, and my brother would probably want to go to, like, Longhorn. Okay. Um, I'd want to have my face stuck in the TV and play video games with them, but they'd rather, like, Talk about how life is going. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you guys like, all play video games? Yeah. Yes. So, what sort of toys that you play with now, or that you played with when you were younger, um, were like your favorite toys that you you play with most? Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. Okay. Right. Legos. I absolutely love Legos. Blocks and trains. Blocks and trains. That's a good answer. Basketball. Okay. I would try juggling it all the time. Okay. Are there awesome. any toys you and your siblings used to fight over? Because you guys wanted to play with them too much? 
my Transformers. My mom sold them, and actually, she gave me all the money because they were my toys. The 3DS. The 3DS? Yeah. Nice, yeah. That's definitely something that my brothers would fight over. For those of you who had sisters, uh, what toys did they like to play with? Oh, um, my sisters, they really actually didn't like Barbie at all. Neither they would I. much, they would actually much rather, like, watch an action movie or play with, like, action figures than Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. Judith Lorber's argument in her article, Night to His Day, is about the social construction of gender. She introduces the article by stating that individuals are born sexed, but not gendered, and they have to be taught to be masculine or feminine. Gender determines the set of roles that are used to structure society. Gender also determines and influences all spheres of social life of the individual. As a social institution, gender is one of the major ways that human beings organize their lives. Society determines the norm in which people are supposed to act in many aspects of their lives. Society determines which qualities in a person suit one gender better than the other. Society considers some qualities necessary or important for one gender and at the same time claims these qualities to make the other gender inferior. Gender creates differences between men and women as well as a hierarchy between the two. Gender is created through a continuous process of teaching, learning, and enforcement by generations. Sex and gender often get used interchangeably. Sex is about the physical difference between men and women. It is determined by the set of sex organs each person has. It is not a social construction, but rather a scientific and physical one. Gender is created through society and is a way for people to organize themselves. Lorber acknowledges that gender is not a result of nature, but rather a result of society.